This is Steph's story. I was born in Melbourne in 1986. I shared my parents with two brothers. When I was seven, we moved to the Gold Coast. It was here I finished all my school, making many lifelong friends. After graduating and working, I reached a crossroad. I knew my life would take the path of travel or the path of study. So as many before me, I left the shores of Australia for London. My adventure took me through 12 different countries, where I experienced amazing cultures. Fun was had, friends were made, not only was I learning a lot about the world, I learned a lot about myself. I based myself in life. It's been so long. Fate stepped in and I was the end of my trip. My grandfather was very ill. As we were preparing for the on my horse. we welcomed my nephew. Jokes aside, With being away, I had a lot of friendships and gained some new ones. You know, Working a little and going out a lot of said I had to go. I took a good hard look at myself and realised I needed direction. Said you I was taken to a site that was amazing and everything she had said had led up to where I was then it was time to study. My name is Paul Burns. I was born in Hong Kong to Scottish parents. I lived an expatriate lifestyle for 11 years in Hong Kong, in a minority community in one of the world's largest cities. When I moved to Australia, I began to realise my upbringing was rather unusual compared to the children in the new country I had to adapt to. I struggled to answer the question, who am I? Regular visits to the UK and familiarity with British culture didn't help either. This was a time of self-discovery. I entered the workforce at 14 to find a job that suited me. I accepted a job at McDonald's. I wasn't used to the work situation which lacked the pastoral care evident at school. My unpleasant co-workers crushed my expectations of developing maturity and independence through work. Determined to make my time at McDonald's successful, I came to realise the meaning of respect, values and friendships because I had to work hard to earn and receive these aspects of the work experience. My education began in Hong Kong at an international school, a language that accepted the value of the culture. At 11 I moved to Australia, leaving everything and everyone behind in the transition from primary school to high school. My new school was small, monocultural and rural with the motto where everyone is someone. The village mentality it produced could make or break you. Fortunately I experienced easy acceptance, making many amazing friends, most of whom I'm still in contact with. After school ended, I visited Hong Kong to decide whether or not to go to university. My mum called me with my OP results and as I walked through the city, I knew it was time to return to my new adopted country and start university. I grew up in a small town known as Tamworth, the country music capital of Australia. I was born into a family of four, including an older brother and two parents. However, when I was eight, my parents got divorced. And then four years later, my dad and brother moved to the Gold Coast, leaving behind myself and my mum. Being surrounded by music throughout my childhood and teenage years, my main hobby became singing jazz. When I was 12, I got the chance to be a guest presenter on the Disney Channel. It was then that I realised I wanted to pursue a career in television. At age 18, the year of 2008 marked my biggest transition thus far, finishing school. I decided to study a Bachelor of Communications in the Gold Coast, as I thought that having family there would make it a smoother transition. So I applied and got accepted into Griffith University. Moving seven hours away from home has presented many challenges and opportunities. The dominant challenge for me was leaving behind friends and family. It seems like another person On the upside, I now have opportunities to form new relationships and to network with a range of people from many different cultural backgrounds. When I look back on my